Hey y'all, this is your girl Kitty Cam, and welcome to the Kitty Cam Vlog. Um, I hope y'all having a wonderful day and evening. Um, today, as you can see, we're going to be reacting to another My 600 Pound Life, and um, of course, it's going to have Justin R. Whitehead in it. Um, before we get started, um, I would like to let y'all know that um, I'm going to have to take some parts out of this video because due to copyright. So just to give y'all a heads up with that. And um, also, just to throw a disclaimer out there, um, I am not laughing at the person's condition. I am only laughing at Justin R. Whitehead as he do a reaction on the show. Just to let y'all know. So other than that, let us get started. I know y'all been waiting for this. Oh, God damn. Now, this ain't how we're going to pop this shit off. Wow. They start off in the bathroom. Wow. They wrong for that. Ooh, God damn. That camera crew is wrong. Boo. So we're doing everything is a chore for me. My weight pulls on me and causes pain all over. I know the fuck it does. I got, now, now, what kind of fucking stomach is that? You done split your goddamn navel. It's very difficult to do what I need to do now, which is very scary for me. Look, the bike ain't wet with a goddamn. Turn around and go and let some of that damn water run down the, the bike and the crack of your fucking ass. <laughs> Hold up now. Well, you fucking need to. I just don't have the ability at times because of the pain and the fatigue that I have, and it terrifies me. It terrifies me to know that my body is starting to Let shut me down. submerge this ass. I should be able to do all this. Oh, good heart. But if I start to need help, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because there's no one to help. Man, me. now come on now. Put that damn top. I have no one. And you just going to go and sit the crock of your ass on that damn bed like that. And ain't ran that fucking rag or that water down the crock of your ass. <laughs> Is affecting my life at this point. But I know the problem behind that is my eating. You're damn right it is. Like this. Damn. But it's something I've never been able to control in my life. Because food is <laughs> my go-to drug. And anytime there's food around me, I'm Because I am addicted. Well, it's the big show. <laughs> Everybody has their addiction of choice. Mine just don't happen to be food. Now, what in the fuck is you finna do with all of that? That's what I used to get me through all my struggles in life. No matter if it's sadness, depression, being bored, being by myself, any of those things would trigger me to go eat. I know it. So that I make myself feel better. I don't even know what kind of fucking See, meat that is. I feel complete joy. Look at them goddamn eggs, And dog. when I Ooh. stop, if the food is gone, I'm back to that dark cold. So that leads me to constantly want to eat. And it's been that way for me my whole life. My childhood was a hard time for me. And you going back to the fucking bedroom? Carry that shit to the goddamn table, girl. I never look, 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 look. How the fuck do you make Sasha look like a goddamn slab of bacon? Shit, me too. You don't see me fucking eating. And she even sick. Um, my life and her life. And so when she would have seizures, it would really terrify me. Being Look at that damn plate. And I lived in constant fear of that. But I was all Girl, go ahead and scoop them fucking eggs up and quit eating them one by one like that, trying to save the damn flavor. Scoop them goddamn eggs up. I kick that fucking plate, clean off that damn bed. Eat that shit, girl! That meant she wasn't around a lot of times. So I'm gonna have free reign of the house. Just look. I eat I want to eat. And I feel like that's where my relationship with food is. Now that, that done pissed me the fuck off. To get that feeling of comfort. And with all the eating, my weight gain started spiraling. Don't even eat that goddamn donut on the fucking bed. Damn. As a kid, I was already over 100 pounds. 
and I gained even more as I got older. Because Evie became with me and my mom and together. You don't even want that shit. Restaurants around town. And those are the best memories of me and my mom. Those are the wow. best memories of me and my mom. It's double my weight. From the time I was seven. Just sitting down right. fucking making yourself eat that damn food. You don't even I know when a motherfucker fool. It's just food is like my only friend. Food is my only No, it ain't. Like food comfort me. That fucking food don't give a goddamn about you. That's enough! And I found out that he was actually my dad when I had a DNA test. It's like he immediately just cut off ties. I never been pregnant with my dad. So for me to find out, this is my dad. Like, it hurt. Go get your ass on up and carry that goddamn styrofoam plate in the damn kitchen. But it was like one thing after the next went wrong at that time. Because shortly after that was when one of my neighbors hurt me. Mm. He lived in the apartment across from us. And his wife and I was like, come over and get cookies. And so one day, I Yeah, he knew how to get your fat ass over there. Damn. And it, it happened. He, he raped me. That's fucked up. And you over there and, and, and lost and your innocence over a fucking pack of cookies. From my town. Girl, if you don't shut the fuck up. And so then that's when my mom started asking me. My grandma started asking me, have you ever touched you? Like, and I was like, well, yeah, he did. It's okay, that, that's not... God damn, girl, shit. Damn. Man, they ain't touched you, made you fucking eat like that. Mm. Call the fucking police. Mm -mm. Now, what in the fuck is you dipping your goddamn... But after a couple of years... Hoof in that bag for eating some goddamn... When I was 20. Because my grandma was not with kids. And that was that was that. Oh, hell, now you telling me about your grandma got fucking counsel. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Work for my size. So I couldn't afford to get a place to live until I was able to get disability. But once I was able to do that, is when now I. Now, what in the home. fuck is you sitting here doing that? So now I live on my own, and I don't have too many people in my life. My neighbors are my closest friends. Queen she and fucking concentrating. She got to be able to and order food. I have food. a lot, and I'm thankful for them. <laughs> Twelve pieces chicken. Twelve. <laughs> and large mashed potatoes. Now who in the fuck can sit there and eat twelve pieces of goddamn chicken in one sitting? I'm done, y'all. You. It's out of control now. You're damn right it is. Yeah. Well, you can sit out again. I need to change everything for my food. Look, 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 look. She, she feel accomplished now. Because of how it's hurting my life and others, I recently got called out for impersonating someone on the internet. Mm. And I, I hope people know that. I never meant to hurt anyone. I never, that was never my Well, attention. quit fucking playing then. I don't know if I get out of control like this. I would have never done it. Mm. But I, it happened. And look, 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 look. Look at that big ass goddamn bag. I ain't had a meal that big in my whole fucking life. Wow. You just fucking ate. Why is you going back in that goddamn bathroom with that fucking food? <laughs> I know ain't nothing but fucking crumbs and roaches all in that fucking room. Look, 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 I know goddamn well. Your ass ain't finna sit there and eat 12 fucking breasts like that. How in the fuck you want me to believe that you want to change? You sit there. Look at the goddamn potion of okra she got. That's what's going to kill me soon if I don't fix that. Just a goddamn feast. You eating a whole fucking family tray for fucking lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carefully sit that down. You don't want to waste it. Whatever you do, don't spill it. Damn. Look at this shit. You know good and damn well that mac and cheese ain't still worth fucking blowing after they had to deliver it to your damn house. <laughs> look, 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 look. I be goddamn. Go, go bite that fucking chicken. 
paradise. Look, 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 look. My biggest fear is my mom having to bury me. Boy, it ain't a fucking and nothing up. even matters. My mom, she got it. Wow. Bite that fucking chicken out the bone and quit pulling it off him up there like that. Uh-oh. Trying to eat fucking cute. So I'm down to my ass. Ain't no way to fucking be cute sitting there eating all that. Look, 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 look at that. God damn, that's another one. And I'm gonna try to start dieting now to so as much as I can. You're a bullshit. Oh, no. show him when I'm ready for surgery now. Oh, we see it. We fucking look at the goddamn way she clear that bone. It's oh, yeah, go on, hold it to the side and get all of it. Please don't leave none in the damn cup. Look at it. Get that goddamn crumb off your fucking mouth. You on TV. Look at a 12 fucking piece of chicken. I ain't but damn three left in the... I know goddamn well. Wow. I know good and damn well. I know good and damn well. So I need to get Dr. Brown's help and the weight loss surgery. Because well, this fuck me in the morning. Look at that. Really and I can't let that happen. Out of a goddamn 12 piece. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. I'd rather have my lady draw my blood because she knows my veins and I'm comfortable with her. Mm. If we being honest, I'm comfortable with her. That's to sound like a damn excuse. Let me take you. But we see a little bit disconnecting here, okay? If we are not able to do your workup, we're not able to get your blood, and we're not able to do anything, how we can do your surgery? I'm not going to have some, enough, some stranger drop my blood. I told whoa, 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 without a goddamn neck rolling out. Wow. If you're not comfortable with that, I don't know what to tell you. I know what the fuck can tell you. Get the fuck out of here and go home and have a damn stroke. Well, fucking get mad then. Wow. Ain't gonna fucking sass me. K ass home and die. Shit. You won't fucking talk back to me. Wow. This is a significant issue. You haven't lost any weight. And you wanna. You know damn well you ain't lost none. No, 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 you ain't got to, you, you ain't got to fucking shush her. You ain't got to tell her not to damn do it. You ain't got to fucking stop her. Shit. Mm-mm, my ass. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh Go on, say it. So I can get her ass right. Go on, say it. And you can get the fuck out my office. I'm trying to be respectful. You ain't got to be. Shit. Wow. Like, yeah, I'm the goddamn doctor, and you the eater. If you want to do the things you need to lose weight, how do you think weight loss surgery is going to make you lose weight? You know good and damn well. I don't lose weight, but at the end of the day, I know what I want for myself. No, no, no. Food. That's not the question. <laughs> you know good and damn well, you just sat there and ate two fucking pieces for this scene here. It helped me in so many ways. It helped me get more healthier. It'll help me with, you know, losing the weight. It'll just... It'll get the fuck out my office. I'm trying to help your ass get well and you want to talk back to me with a damn attitude? Yeah, 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 we ready. Get the fuck out of here. Get, get your ass on up out of here. Get the fuck on out of here now. You got that? Okay. So when you have weight... Somebody you want to find, want to go to your folks so... They can do your blood work because they know what your veins look like. They know how to find your veins. Bitch, anybody can find your veins. They the size of a goddamn straw. Get the fuck out. I wouldn't help a doc. Go on, find somebody that wants some help. Yeah, I do. That goddamn dominoes that dropped off two fucking boxes over your house. That's what's going on. She ain't listening, dog. Get her ass on out of there. Yep. Yeah, get the fuck out of there. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, God damn. Get her ass on out of there. Wow. Bye. Wow.
Move. Wow. Don't, don't let her fat ass come back in there neither. I no, hope a no. goddamn stroke on this bitch. You the fucking miserable. Come here. Who the fuck you think you talking to like that? Dog, you a good. You a fucking good. I done followed her ass out that door and told her what I thought. How's she? No, don't take nothing but her fat ass out of there. Yep. Yep, bye. They, that's it. That's the attitude. Get the fuck out. And don't come back. Yeah. No, what in the fuck you think you got damn going on? I already got to haul your ass away in that fucking truck there. And you want to talk to somebody like they ain't got no goddamn sense, like they don't know what the fuck they saying to you? Bitch. Ooh. I can't stand this bitch already. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, that was a lot of fucking uh, chicken she ate. And there was some big pieces too. But no judgmental here. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video right here. Um, uh, man, it's it's just wilding, really wilding. Um all I gotta say is that um, you know, for those that's going through like depression, anxiety, and just trauma, you know, in your life and everything like that, like I said, you are not alone. You know, I've been through it with depression, anxiety, you know, past trauma too. So, you know, we all in this together, you know what I'm saying? But um, but if if anyone is currently going through stuff like this, make sure you seek help. Talk to someone that you're close to. It could be your friends, you know, or just seek, you know, professional help. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, life can be hard. It really can be hard, you know. But, um, but other than that, y'all, thank y'all so much for love and support, and I appreciate y'all patience. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you'll miss out on any videos like this. But other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and evening, and I'll see y'all next time, okay? Bye!